Hey, what's up, Reefers? Today, we are gonna look at the cost of this 17 gallon drop-off tank. Now, a few months ago, I did a video on how much it costs for the 45 gallon tank, and that scared a lot of people. And a lot of people was like, that's the reason I did not go into what I wanna go into salt water. No, it does not have to be the case. Because when I set up that tank, I did not know what to get. I did not know where to get it. And I got a little bit smarter since then, so this is a lot cheaper. And today I'm gonna to tell you exactly how much it costed me. Now to help me with this, next to me we got Lynn. Uh, she's gonna keep track of all the numbers, all the spending, just like last time. And then right to her, we got Joy, who's gonna help her out as well. Now, behind the camera, we got the lovely Sally, Miss Average Reefer on Instagram, follow her. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. First, we gotta look at equipment first, and then the livestock, and then all the supplements, supplemental stuff, accessories that I shared between the two tanks. The tank is probably the highest cost uh, that I spent. This tank is the Alphalee Acrylic uh, 17 gallon drop off tank. It costs $350. And right above it, I got really lucky. This is a beautiful light from ONF. This is a Taiwan company. Uh, normally it's 200, but I got it for free as a tester. So we're not gonna add that number. So right now, 350. So swing to the side. In the back chamber, we will see a skimmer. This is high door uh, skimmer. Not the best skimmer, tons would be better, but this is like, I think it's pretty decent for my use. So I got that used for $50. Really great deal. Normally it's about almost 100. And Sally, if you come over on this side, if you step back there, I'll swap, swap places with you. Look in the back chamber again. We have a uh, heater first. I think heater is about $20. And then we got a auto top off system. I got the ATO, the, uh, I think the nano version. That's a little pipe coming over. Oh, sorry, I gotta come back over here again. So we got that ATO, I think that's 120. And that actually connects to this container down here. This is an ATO reservoir uh, for water. I think I spent about $80 on this. So in terms of equipment, we also have the uh, extra power head that I put in. That was about $22. And the original pump that came with this drop-off tank actually uh, burned out. So I got a new pump for about $30. So in terms of hardware, that is pretty much it. Uh, Lynn. Yes. What are we up to right now? 672. 672. That's not bad. That's the, that's the all the equipment compared to the other one. That's nuts. All right. So that's all the major equipment. Now let's talk about livestock. All right. We went bare bottom, but we do have rocks. I went with the BRS bikini rocks. They were really, they're really light, so they're actually really cheap. Even though per pound they're really, uh, they're really expensive, but because I don't need that much rocks, it's cheap. Uh, I got, I think I got about fifty dollars worth. And let's talk about the corals. The frog spawn. I think I got them uh, from a uh, tank, tank sales, and it was, I want to say, fifty dollars. And this is the same. Uh, half commonly I have over at the 45 gallon, just move it over. Um, for the Zoas, all these orange Zoa that you see all over the place, these are actually the Vietnam Zoa. And I got a $70, $70 rock from a local reefer that's importing them. And I just kind of broke up the rock and kind of glued the Zoas directly onto the main rock structure. Uh, the Green Star Pop-Up, I think I spent about $30 for a frag and just kind of grow them out. And these Eagle Eye Zoas, these orange and green one, I think I got two frags of these and a total of maybe like $30. Now let's come over here on this side. We got the Kryptonite candy cane. I got them in a, maybe like two thirds the size. It kind of died back to like maybe one sixth of the size. Now it's all completely back. But when I paid for it, it was about $40. And I come over here, you'll be like, hey, that's an awesome piece of like uh, bird's nest, uh, SPS. But I actually did not, did not pay anything for it because I traded the blue tank for this guy as well as a couple other frags. Now, since you're over in here, uh, let's come over and look at this little guy right here. So this bubble tip anatomy looks kind of orange peak, uh, pinkish right now, but it used to be like neon yellow. Uh, I spent 100 on this and another clone in the 45 gallon tank. So right now I have two. So that's, one, that's 100. We'll just do that cost. And right here, since we're on this side, let's look at this. This is actually a new pickup. These are the Rasta Soas, the green, the green with orange center. So I got a few frags here and then another nice chunk in the 45, uh, 45 gallon tank. Uh, I paid a total of 100 for all of them. So let's just say 50, because I used half of it in this tank. 
Alright, we'll move on down here and we'll look at Mochi. So Mochi is the centerpiece of this tank. Uh, he is $100 plus 50 shipping, so $150. Some of you guys asked where I got him. Uh, thanks to my friends on Instagram that have been like kind of giving me leads. I ended up finding him in Michigan on one of the local forums. Somebody's selling it for 100 bucks. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. All right, while we're on the topic of livestock, let's look at a little crap right here. We got a anemone crab, and that little guy's $9. And we also, see if we go crabs, we also got two hermit crabs here. I just say like $6 for both. Also snails, snails, uh, I got a couple snails here. I'll just say uh, $15 for all the snails. Okay, um, in terms of other livestock in this tank, most of them is pretty much food for mochi, like the damselfish. Uh, like the damsel fish. Uh, so far we had about four damsel that came through. Let's say four times three is so 12, $12. So those are pretty much food. And okay, some of the more expensive stuff here, including the fat head andros. So that little colony right there, the orange thing in the middle, that was, I think 90, if I remember right. Wait, no, 40 perhaps, 120, 120. And I'll swing up to here to see the larger colony of the fat head andro. So the larger one was a little bit more when I got it. I think it was 150. And since then it has sprouted a lot of heads. Okay, so that is pretty much it for uh, all the major costs in terms of livestock. So Lynn and Joy, what do we have? What are we at right now? I have 1554 because I counted that $12. Um, yeah, the, yeah. The, the food for mochi. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. totally add them. 1554. Mm -hmm. One five five four. Correct. That's that's really uh, that, yo. That's way cheaper than the forty five gallon. I, I was like, what? That's it? Uh, okay. So let's also talk about um, uh, some like some of the stuff that I shared between the two tanks. All right. So if you just look at this massive thing. Now, okay. Well, before we before we go here, come, before we go there, that is pretty much. That's it. That's pretty much the cost for the drop off tank. Well, less than two thousand dollars. Now we haven't gotten salt and stuff like that yet. But that's not gonna bump it up way too much. But that's a lot more reasonable than the 45 gallon. So don't be scared. Just know where to find the right, the right place for that. Know where to go to find the right things, right? I bought a lot of these things off of uh, my local reef club, Wildmass Forum. Lots of people are coming in and are leaving the hobby all the time. And if you catch the right people leaving the hobby, you can pick up a lot of great deals. Also, usually people on the forums are really generous as well. Uh, if you go to the place to buy things, if you buy multiple things, they'll cut you a nice deal. I'll just give you some frags for free. So uh, don't just go to your local fish store or shop online. Also check out other reefers, other hobbyists. Usually that's where you're gonna find the best deal. Now let's talk about this whole chunk of things here. Um, so these are mostly miscellaneous stuff. We got this awesome tong, $20. So these are the things that I share between two tanks. We got turkey baster, uh, $5. Might be better turkey baster, ten dollars. We got the flipper magnetic scraper. I think it's like let's say forty. I'm not hundred percent sure, but it's around there. We got this little guy still wet, uh, six dollars. I got this kind of foam padding as well as the um, poly filter version. Let's just let's just say twenty five for all the ones I've used so far. I got miscellaneous nets. Let's just say twenty dollars for all of them. I got a bamboo tong, uh, ten dollars. And uh, here's uh, slightly more expensive stuff. Actually, let me swing way over here. I'll swing <laughs> over there. And I'm gonna bring an extra tank so we get a nice life. All right. So here are all the test kits. Even though my channel name is called Inappropriate Reefer, I've learned that I still need to test my water. So I do have these. I do not remember how much it is. I want to say uh, it's about 49. Actually, 49. Uh, 20? I'm just making things up right now. <laughs> I'll say, let's say 15. 15. 15, 15, 20. We got a Peach Pro. I think it's like $8. Hydrometer that you all, you all hate. This is like $12. API Master Test Kit. I think it's about 22. TDS meter, $8. We got ammonia, $6. And high range pH, I think there's also $6. We got the phosphate, I actually got this used from another uh, reefer. I think I paid $20 for this, great deal. 
And lastly, we got an infrared heat gun to see the temperature. This is twelve dollars. Actually, really cheap. This is one of the best investments. All right, so that is pretty much it. Oh wait, wait, wait. wait. Actually, salt. Uh, well, let's not look at this one. I have a whole story. Watch for the next video. I got a whole story about Coral Pro salts. Great salts, but there is something that you have to know before you use it. So let, I actually got the uh, big box of the Fritz RPM salts. That cost us sixty-six dollars. I just added it here. And of course, we haven't talked about like our DI unit because I've already had it. But uh, actually, want, let's, let's add that in as well. Let's add like one one ninety. I mean, I got that before with the forty-five gallon. But let's just lump this in. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think I miss anything. I don't think. Uh, food and stuff, but let's not count those. Those are probably not that much compared to these. All right, so uh, Lynn, for equipment, livestock, and then all these misses and then just testing stuff. What are we looking at here? Twenty-one thirty-nine. Let's see. That is not bad at all. <laughs> Consider how much that forty bag gallon costs. So I'm really sorry if I scared any of you guys uh, when I went over the cost of my forty-five gallon tank. Uh, yeah, let's come check it out. So I was asking how much. But yeah, mostly it's from the light. I think the light costs it a lot. The light is like, how about like 300 and plus like 100 something to upgrade it. But yeah, um, this system, if I were to build it again, it would be a lot cheaper. It's more from the not knowing where to get things and getting multiple, th multiple things that does the same thing because I want to upgrade that and kind of bump the cost up. But I think uh, like $2,000 for like a really nice system with like decent equipment, totally reasonable. So don't be scared. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions regarding like what kind of equipment I have and then what my experience with them, I would love to share them with you, no problem at all. How much did you spend on your system? I know like in the last video, uh, we talked about like how much we all share. Like, I, I mean, you guys guess first, but obviously let's not do that. But tell me how much you spent on your system and leave it in the comment below. And now this time I'm gonna do things reverse. Last time I pinned the person that spent the most on the system. This time, I'm gonna pin the comment with the least amount spent on your reef, uh, reef aquarium. So, let me know how you go. Sai is pointing to herself. Why do you uh, go spin around? What are we gonna say? I don't know. I spent like less than 500. Less than 500? Than... How did you do that? I don't know. I just get a chip deal and I got a lot of cars for. Oh, Alexa. Alexa just kind of chimed in. Yeah. Awesome. So I got a lot of free stuff, but everything else that I get is definitely less than 500. Oh, maybe less than 400. Okay, all right, good, good. So if you can beat Sally's $400 for your system, leave a comment below. That's the target to beat. All right, so thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Suki. All right, Sally, I just have one question for you. What is your Instagram name? Miss Average Reaper. What, what is it again? Miss Average Reaper. Don't try to close my log as a vlog up. What's your Instagram name again? Miss Average Reaper. All right, close it out. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, you. You're mine. Is, is. Uh, what?